Okay, so I guess there's uh, <laughs> no uh, introductory cutscene like we're accustomed to. Hello there, Mr. Nazi. Lichtspielhaus. Um, what is it? Light Playhouse? I think. Um, in any case, welcome to uh, Lost Horizon, which is another game developed by Animation Arts and published by Deep Silver. I don't know much about this other than I think it takes place in the 30s or 40s, mostly in uh, Southeast Asia, and we'll be following the adventures of, I think, some British guy and his Chinese girlfriend, so that out of the way, let's see. Options. Yeah, dialogue definitely full. Probably something like that. Hi, hi, subtitles on, scroll by item, scroll by page. I suppose we'll leave this to scroll by item by default and see how that works out. And uh, what else? We got cinema, okay, so movies. Wait, to, let's see, this afternoon or evening. Wait to for Mittag. Okay, so this is afternoon. That's knock, so tonight, evening, and then tomorrow, knock mid big midnight? But in any case, uh, I do like this menu, you know, this nice 30s, 40s cinema type thing going on. Um, you will notice the, uh, because this is a game developed in Germany, the resident Nazi here is not going to have a I don't think he's going to have Nazi markings. He might if they decided to add that in for the international release, but uh, in the German version, I'm pretty sure, um, like, all, I think it's a law that all the Nazi stuff has to be censored, so... With that, I guess let's begin, because I've got nothing else. Far. Damn it, we need to get out before we end up like everyone else. Give us cover. We're almost there. I'm so sorry about what happened to your friend. What the hell? Who are these people? What do they want? They are searching for this chamber. What? Why? There's nothing here. On the contrary. Everything is here. We stand before a gateway. Behind which the greatest treasure of all mankind is concealed. What do you mean? This monastery guards a secret that is centuries old. But the world is not yet prepared for its revelation. I tell you this only because you will shortly become the last person who can prevent the key to the secret from falling into the hands of those barbarians.
What is that? This is a key. At some point, they will find this chamber and break down the door. The key must no longer be here when that happens. Take it. Use it. And get it to the other side. Then, you will understand everything. We just wanted to help. Now I'm the last one left alive, and I don't even know who's trying to kill me. Or for that matter, why? Ancient secrets, apparently. A great treasure hidden here in this chamber. Maybe that's what they're after. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I need to get out and get in touch with England. Alright, so now we have control of the game. It looks like we have, um, we are in control of a uh, English army corporal or something to that effect based on the two chevrons he has uh, looks like we're somewhere in I would guess the Himalayas that's normally where all this magic stuff happens is in like Nepal or something but uh okay good we got this so I guess uh, that's where we came from so let's start looking around and finding a way out a great many strange symbols not one of which I understand even remotely. Dead. The monks gave their lives to protect the artifact and this chamber. He spoke of a great treasure. Sounds like we know why they came under attack. Nothing more I can do. I need to use this key and get out. Now. strange lines and engravings all over it. From what I can see, the style of these drawings is not actually typical of this region. In fact, it isn't even Asian. The monk's last wish was that I get this thing to safety. He called it a key. A key to what? There's a recess in this plinth here. But nothing else interesting. I've never seen writing like that before. It could say anything. Maybe something useful. But I don't speak the language. From what I know of Asian mythology, dragons are often guardians of doors and gates. Alright, I assume we can't open that. Is this the gate the monk was talking about? I can't see any way to get it open. Oh, he's actually going to try. That's funny. I can't see how to open this thing. If, that is, it can even be opened. Alright, well, let's go to the pedestal, because that's the only interesting thing it here. It won't budge. And I'm pretty sure we're just going to pop that into in the there. recess here. I haven't the slightest idea what that might do, but according to the monk, it's the only way out of here. I hope he was right. Lieutenant, how are things progressing? All resistance has been quashed. The monastery is under our control. And the chamber? We haven't found it yet. There must be a secret passage. That is how the monk and the Tommy got out. At least, that is what our prisoner claims. And has he told us in the meantime what his unit was doing here? Yes, he was most talkative. They were here to map the region. Apparently, his lieutenant was using maps made by some Hong Kong cartographer who came this way before. Aha. Uh -huh. Coincidence is a strange thing. Well, we managed to contain things this time, but I don't want any further interruptions. We will extend our patrols. 
and I have ordered that the airspace be monitored by our fighters. You are a soldier. You are happy to wait and fight. I, on the other hand, am a scientist, and I believe in preventing the fight in the first place. Send someone to Hong Kong immediately. Eliminate the cartographer once and for all, and destroy any records he may have. If needs be, pay some triads from Hong Kong to take care of the job. We need to deal with this quickly. We must do everything possible to prevent anyone from turning up here again and interrupting the operation. This mission is too significant, and we have just about reached our goal, Lieutenant. The future of the Third Reich is in our hands. business, Shen? Can't complain? How about you? <laughs> Still moving stuff you shouldn't be. Have you ever tried turning a profit the honest way? It's tough. I've got bills to pay. Besides, snatching a deal from the tongs is all the fun I get around here. Fenton, Fenton. The tongs are not to be played with. These are serious people. <laughs> Shen, I didn't know you cared. I'd be surprised if Tong even knew who I was. Oh, really? He was here looking for you last night. Finally! The celebrity status I've always craved. You need to relax, old friend. Fenton, you are my best customer, and for that reason alone, I'm going to give you some good advice. Watch yourself, or you'll be at the bottom of the harbour before I can say rum. And you can say rum pretty damn quickly. Not as quickly as you can drink it. Didn't you learn in the forces not to underestimate your enemies? Christ, you make it sound like we're in a fight to the death. That may yet prove to be the case. I strongly suggest you forget smuggling and get your kicks elsewhere. Okay, okay, I'll be careful. Promise. Speaking of getting my kicks, you guys have a new singer. Yes, but you're not getting your kicks with her either. She's not into men like you. A lot of guys have tried, a lot of guys have failed. Shen, that sounds like a challenge. I'll spring you my best whiskey if you get so much as a room number. Shen, I'll be back in two minutes. You'd better get down to the basement and dig out that bottle. piece of cake. In two minutes flat, not only will I have a hot date, but an excellent bottle of whiskey to go with it. Life is sweet. Okay, so we got some conversation options. Uh, ooh. Not sure what to do. I do like the art style here, where it's kind of a you know, like a painting mixed with these 3D models. It ends up working pretty well, I think. Uh, I think we'll compliment her talent. Your song has moved me in a way I barely thought possible. The least I can do is buy you a drink. Nice try, but I don't drink. Thanks. What's with the bottle of absinthe?
Hey, I guess we can go the other route. Wow. I'm looking at that dress, wondering if it's the feathers that make the bird. Or the other way around. Hey, that was a... Either way, you look hot. A little too direct. I'll take that as a compliment, even if it's a dubious one. That was not my intention. Please forgive me. However, you're certainly a talented singer. Yes, that's why they pay me. Please leave me alone. Wow, this girl is a real challenge. Well, don't get me wrong. I don't mean to be intrusive. Overwhelmed by your magnificence, perhaps I came across a bit foolish. Let's have another crack at this, shall we? Uh... Okay, so I guess we're going to uh, keep looping until we get it. Oh, we've switched over from the soldier, and now we're some English happy-go-lucky smuggler in Hong Kong before its fall to the Japanese, so... Hashtag free Hong Kong. But, uh, in any case, uh... Ch -ch -ch -ch. Your song... Nice. Right. If the other guys are so easily put off, no wonder you've been waiting for me to come along. Come on, what can I get you? <laughs> okay, I do enjoy a glass of champagne after a show. You're more than welcome to buy me one, but I intend to enjoy it in my room, alone. Ah, oh, go on. Give me one more chance. Uh. Changed your mind. Changed your mind yet? The barman, Shen. He's a good friend of mine. I'll have him serve a glass of the best champagne this place has to offer. And I'm sure the two of you will enjoy it very much. Well, if I'm honest, this whole thing's been a massive crash and burn. Ah, well. I'm out of her league anyway. <laughs> These must be the Tongs. These guys are with the Tongs. Looks like Shen was right. They must have found out that I snatched that last deal off of them. One on one I can handle. Two on ones pushing it. And knowing my luck, there's about 20 more of them waiting outside. I think a tactical retreat is in order. I wouldn't like to say a hasty one, but that's exactly what I mean. Right. It looks like there's still some booze in here. No one will miss this stuff. Then we got a little bowl An here. empty wok. I better leave the wok where it is. Okay. A serving cart. I could rail it across the room, but it's not the sort of explosive distraction that'll get me out of here unnoticed. What else we got to look at around here? One of Mun Tong's men. I'd rather he didn't see me. I'm not scared, of course. I just don't want to hurt him. <laughs> In some cases, attack may be the best form of defense. In this case, not being attacked is the best form of staying alive. Mun Tong himself. He's a triad boss and presumably very, very ticked off with me. Looks like he's quizzing Shen about me. He'll keep his mouth shut, thank God. I need a way out of here, though. Mun Tong. Maybe I should just waltz over and shake his hand. Or possibly just sneak up and smack him on the back of the head. Or neither. You know, that's a bad idea. Let's see if there's anything useful inside. Three Hong Kong dollars, 45 cents, and a button. Neither enough cash to buy my way out, nor enough buttons to fashion a coat. All right. A few old receipts and some notes. Nothing else. Absinthe. 70% alcohol. Not bad. <laughs> I've had this lighter since my days in the army. Okay, so we can't just waltz up and hit him. Uh, is there anything else to look at here? I'm this sure Shen won't give me away, but hey, there's a way through here, and if I remember correctly, it leads backstage to the other exit. 
but I'll never make it that far as long as Mun Tong is standing at the bar. Alright, so... Okay, okay that. let's get the absinthe into the wok. Why should I light the cork? An empty bottle of absinthe. Hmm. <laughs> There's one thing wrong with this picture. Alright. Uh, can we put... What else can we combine? Why plug an empty bottle? Yeah, because I need to guard this shrapnel with my... Oh, shrapnel, you say? I better leave the... Alright. The wok is half full of absinthe. Or is it half empty? Is there anything? A serving cart. I could rail it across. Okay. I, I get the clues here. We're basically trying to make an uh, improvised Molotov cocktail here. <laughs> improvised, improvised explosive and throw it across the room. Make it blow up here. That should get their attention. We can dart the other way. But. He won't plug the bottle. Yeah, because... Uh... Plat de jour, flambé. How would you like that cooked? Well done. Mais ce dénamour. And other bad puns. Okay, I guess we're gonna... Go straight for that. Why pl... Uh, yeah, because I need... Why pl All right, so... I better leave... It's... I better leave... Now it's... Oh, shit. That, that's really all he wanted to do? Dead end, Paddock. <laughs> My answer makes no difference anyway. You're still gonna beat me <laughs> up, aren't you? Right, kid. This time you're messing with the wrong people. Wake up, Paddock, or you will miss your last flight. Ever done a splash down? I'll laugh later. Now let me out. You don't get it, do you? You know what? I think I literally just got it just now. I'm thinking the whole business expansion thing wasn't such a good idea after all. Indeed. But we have run out of patience. You should have kept out of our business. But you just wouldn't heed our warnings. Hey guys, why don't we just relax and talk about this? I promise I won't get in your way anymore, okay? Too late, Paddock. And once again, we find truth in an old Chinese saying. It is easy to open a business, but it is difficult to keep it running. <laughs> but we don't want to be that heartless. We won't grant you a last wish, but you may decide how you would like to die. Would you prefer to suffocate or drown? You don't have to decide right away, Paddock. Let me explain. Strictly speaking, your little submarine here is completely watertight. So when we throw you into the harbor in a minute, not a single drop of water will make its way inside. You'll then have about 15 minutes of air. An agonizing amount of time when you're waiting for death. Only fear and panic will accompany you during your final struggle. You wouldn't even wish that on your worst enemy. Therefore, we have drilled a hole in the lid for you. At first, 
you will instinctively try to plug the hole with your hand. But if you desist, you can end your suffering that much faster. Let the water flow in and everything will be over in one, maybe two minutes. No, do not thank us, old friend. I think we owe you that much. I agree. Bon voyage, old friend. <laughs> he won't be causing us any more trouble. Crap. 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 I need a solution. Quick. Crap. Wow, that lighter's gonna burn up pretty the good. The cork's a tad too small to seal the hole airtight. Uh... Why plug... Why should I... Yeah, because I... A hinge. Looks like the tongs used an old door as a lid for the chest. It's screwed to the lid of the chest. Use the coin? To... I could use this to loosen the screws on the hinge. Okay. Uh... I can't use... They've sealed the cracks in this crate with tar. Arr. Uh. There's a big lump of tar here. It's hardened. I'm not going to get it off like this. Okay, so. Loosen it up. There we go. I'll put down the lighter for a moment. There. It worked. The gooey tar is now sticking to the cork. Now we can plug the hole. Perfect. The tarred cork sealed the hole. I can take my hand away now. And now we should be able to use it. Okay, coins. that should work. Uh, you're turning them the wrong way, uh, righty tighty lefty lefty. They've sealed the cracks in this crate with tar. If only it were that easy. The lid's nailed shut. Alright. If I manage to put the hinge between the lid and the crate, I might be able to pry it open. Let's try. Good. They didn't stay to watch the show. Usually a time like this is a time for cautious celebration, followed by raucous celebration. Unfortunately, wandering back into triad territory for a drink with Shen is most likely inadvisable. Plus, I'm soaked. Home time, I think. Are you Tong? Moon Tong? How dare you, stranger? What do you want? Can we go somewhere and talk undisturbed, Mr. Tong? Somewhere less... lively? We have nothing to fear here. This is our district. If you have something to say, say it. If not, get out of here. Very well. I need some men to do a job for me. Discreetly and efficiently. I was told you would be able to help me. Interesting. We shall see whether I can or cannot once you've told me what this is about. My clients are looking for a man who is supposed to be living here in Hong Kong. He's in possession of something that my clients desire for themselves. And who are your clients? That is not important. Find the person and retrieve the item. 
That's the job. Well, many people live in Hong Kong. And I'm sure a lot of them are in possession of things that other people want. If you accept this job, you will of course receive more detailed information. Hmm, this sort of work doesn't come cheap, you understand. Money is no issue. My clients have the necessary means. All that matters is that the job is completed to our satisfaction. Then I'd say it's a deal. Hey, look, American Markets. That's a 1928 Ford Trimotor. More importantly, it's my 1928 Ford Trimotor. They only build 199, and mine's the best of the bunch. State of the art. There's a... 10 years ago. There's a couple of these that are actually still flying if you ever go to EAA in Oshkosh. I think they have two of these that you can um, purchase a seat on, and they'll fly you around for a bit. They, uh, they keep them in good working order, but um, this seems a good enough place to stop for now. It looks like we're going to get the hell out of here, and uh, hopefully our friend here isn't the cartographer they're looking for, but I guess we'll find that out next time. So with that, thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for next time, and we'll see you then.